welcome. I am Lenlin, and today I'm bringing you the engineer. So this is the little spotlight that I'm doing on the uh, Planet Side Two class, the in engineer. And uh, I figured out it would be helpful for the community, seeing as the game is still relatively new, to kind of show people how to play properly. Um, I'm still pretty much a noob myself. I'm not doing too great, but I figured we got a decent fight going on. This would be the uh, time to kind of throw it out there and kind of show people what they should do. So, first thing about the engineer that you should know is the engineer is not really a frontline type um, class. You can do a decent amount of damage with your primary and secondary weapons, but you, you really shine in defending the base or helping to take a base after the majority of its defenses have already been overrun. Because um, you can come in and you can place down anti-infantry -inf turrets, and of course you can repair structures and vehicles. But one major thing to keep in mind is even though you have all these things, you really are not a, a, a front lane. Oh, a front line. Um, good, I didn't kill him. I thought I killed him. <laughs> You're not a front line uh, infantryman. Not at all. Not even a little bit. So what, what I found that you really want to do is kind of... Oh shit. Is kind of stay behind everybody, throw down ammo packs, because um, your your number four here, your, your inventory four slot, drops um, ammo kit, which takes a second to respawn, but when it does, you get XP every time someone um, runs over them. Yeah! Bitch! I can't aim for shit. So bad at this game. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Like I said, I'm not that great, but I, I, I've, I'm slowly, slowly understanding how, how to play. Um, at least the engineer. Uh, I'm gonna do other stuff eventually, uh, but for right now, I'm just gonna do the engineer because that's kind of the class that I focus on. So anyway, as I was saying, your primary weapon is, is fairly powerful on its own. Um, it's not nearly as as good as like say the the heavy, the heavy infantry or like the light infantry. But it definitely gets the job done. And your sidearm's not too bad either. But you can hold your own in a fight, in a 1v1, so long as you like kind of get to jump on somebody. If you're going toe-to-toe -to -toe with uh, light infantry or heavy infantry, you might have some problems. Or even a medic. Like, with a medic, I'm sure you can kind of hold your own. Okay, he's moving. Oh, no. <laughs> See, that was a good example of what not to do as an engineer. I thought my team was going to move in with me, so I went ahead and, you know, took the initiative and ran in there myself. And it got me killed. So, that's one thing, I mean, that's probably the biggest thing that you really have to get used to as an engineer, is to not run in and try to be a hero. You, you can't do it as an engineer. Unless you're really good, or you spent a bunch of money and got a lot of the good stuff right off the bat. You can't. So don't try. <laughs> what I like to do as an engineer actually. So grab a turret, find somewhere with uh that's decent a decent area to go ahead and drop a turret down. And basically just like defend. Like defend an area. So as you can see up here there's guys and stuff running around up there. Like patties. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna stay back here and just kind of throw down cover fire for um, my teammates, so they can so they can go in, capture the bases, and then after they capture and take care of everything that needs to be taken care of, I can then move in with my repair gun and with my uh, ammo that I can drop and and pretty much just help clean up. You know? Now, one thing to keep in mind about the mana turrets is, is they overheat very quickly um, at level one, I guess, is what you can say it. If you don't have any points in the um, any certification points in the mana turret, which is what this is called, you really don't. Yeah, I mean, sniped by somebody. I'm, I'm doing my best to take him down. Now you do have infinite ammo on your turret, so you can you can fire all day. Like you can put one down and just continue firing. Just remember that it will overheat. As you can look at the, the bottom right hand corner, you can see that my gun's starting to get kind of hot. So you, you, you don't want to just hold it down, just blah, 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 because it'll overheat and you'll run out of ammo. Or you'll have to stop and let it cool off. So 
So throttle it, just like not throttle, feather it, feather it quite a bit. All right. Um, I haven't gotten too many kills with the turret. I've gotten a ton of assists because the turret on its own doesn't do that much damage. Like it does, I, I guess it doesn't do as much damage as you'd think it would as a as a turret. It is not effective versus uh, vehicles. It is an infantry turret for sure. So you you want to utilize that. And as you can see, you can zoom in. I'm taking I'm taking uh, hits, so I'm gonna kind of dive back here for a second. Take the opportunity to go ahead and throw down my own uh, ammo dealio. Oh, and uh, also when you're running around, when you hear people calling for batteries, that means they need ammo. What's also good about setting stuff up like this is you can put you can put damage down on the people, which will make it a little bit easier for um, for the snipers and stuff that might be behind you in their own roosts uh, to take to take stuff down. I don't really think yeah, the infant, the, if the mana turret is not that effective, not barely effective at all versus uh, gun emplacements. I am taking hits. So again, I'm going to back off a little bit. Let my team soak up some damage. Let the healers, or the uh, medics, kind of catch up, and then I'm gonna hop back on my turret and uh, get back to work. There he is. Oh, that's a turret. Okay. One very important thing that you want to watch out for and be careful with when you're using this turret is idiots like to jump in front of you and get killed because they're dumb and they don't know how to pay attention. So that's another good reason to to throttle to throttle your um, your firing. Don't just immediately open up, like because it doesn't have that well. It doesn't stop. It doesn't have that much stopping power. So if you're just holding it down, trying to do tons of damage, there's a good chance that you're going to kill someone on your team. Like, see, this dumbass put his fucking turret right in front of me, so now I can't shoot anything like over here. Yeah, see, I ended up getting blown up. Ah. Uh, Oh, I forgot to start my timer. I'm so bad. But that's that's probably the biggest issue that I have with with the turret and as an engineer in general is when you drop that turret, you really gotta you gotta watch out for other people because they're not watching for you. It's just like whenever you go to crossroads. I hit accept. Why didn't it res me? There we go. All right, so they've they've caught on to our to our little location. So they're shelling us now. So we want to move. We want to move real quick. Oh, there's a tank. Yep, don't wanna, don't wanna do anything with it. So what we're gonna go ahead and do is, um, I'm gonna try and get up on top of this building, set up a turret, so I can possibly do just a little bit, like I have a little bit better uh, roost for shooting. And I've always never forget to throw down like a really good spot to toss down your ammo packs or near uh, the respawn vehicle. I can't remember what it's called off the top of my head. I've done it a million times. I've said it a million times, but I always forget what it's called. So anyway, we seem to have reestablished our uh, little base of operations over here. So you can only have one turret out at a time, but I believe you get two turrets before you have to go resupply. So if you do drop a turret down um, and you have another turret that's already up, it'll just that turret will disappear. It'll it'll deconstruct that turret and replace it over here. So anyway, forgot to start my timer again. This might be kind of a long episode. That's alright. That's alright. Oh, I got sniped. I got sniped because I was messing around with my timer. That right there is the engineer's greatest weakness when you're on the turret. Our snipers. Because you're stationary, it makes it very easy for them to just pick you off. So if you're gonna if you're gonna mount up somewhere and you're gonna, you know, do the engineer thing and lay down cover fire with your um, mana turrets. You gotta make sure that you're you're in an area where you're not going to be able to get sniped from all sides. Like I, I, that area that I picked wasn't ideal. Like it's not a bad spot. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of a bad spot because I can get sniped from uh, all those directions. Will, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go and mount back up because we we seem to be doing really good. We're about to capture. Oh my god! Right when I say that I'm doing all right, I get sniped by the same guy again. <laughs> all right, so. I'm gonna move away from that area <laughs> and not get fucking killed. Not keep feeding this guy kills. Uh, 
All right, but once we capture this, I'm going to show you where the I'm going to show you how the engineer really shines. Because we're going to be able to move in. We're going to be able to repair all the generators immediately, and anything else that may have been destroyed. All right, so we, we don't want to we don't want to sit over here anymore because this is where we're coming coming from. So their their engineers and snipers are going to be in that area as well. Now, like I said, we're about to capture this area, so I'm going to move in and get ready to try and uh. Whoop. Grenade. I got someone. Good shit. Okay. Watch for tanks and all that fun, fun shit. Okay, they're moving in. This guy. And we got it. And I got killed by probably my own teammate. I have to say, of my deaths, the majority of my deaths probably come from getting killed by teammates. Ah! Yay, battle rank 7. Good shit. Alright, now that we've captured this facility, what I'm going to go ahead and run around and do is repair everything. I'm going to try to keep a lookout. Oh, I'm getting hit! Oh! Dang. Hey, I got another decal. Dude, some of these guys are just overpowered as fuck. I know a lot of people say that this game is not pay for win because you can get all the weapons and stuff in game. But right now, at launch, if you've got money to spend on this game, do it. Because you're going to fucking rape everybody. Because the weapons that you can buy at level 1 <laughs> are just ridiculous. Especially if you want to be a, um, an infiltrator. Like If you're an infiltrator and you've got money to spend, and you pick up that inf that freaking ridiculous sniper rifle that they have, you're just going to own fucking everybody. And of course, I mean, if you do spend money on the game and you're bad, like if I spent money on this game, I'd probably still do pretty shit just because I suck at FPS games. But, I mean, the option is still there. I'm sure once people start leveling up and getting shit done... Oh shit, I'm going to blow up. Grenade right there. Can't get away. Okay. So, they're still in the area, even though we've taken the base. Um, we're slowly trying to clean them out. I'm going to run around, take a look at your HUD to see if there's anything that needs to be repaired. It'll be an icon with like a wrench above it, and it'll, it'll say, you know, repair. And you'll walk up to it, and you'll repair it. Like, here we go. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez, what is this guy doing? Like this, right here. This is damaged because it's smoking. And you can see it, it gradually builds up and up and up. And you get XP for repairing stuff. Now, just like your turret, your repair gun will also overheat. And then stop working. And then you just have to wait for it to cool down. And go ahead and toss it back on there. And there we go. All repaired. Now, I've tried throttling... Oh, jeez, don't hit me. I've tried throttling the repair gun. Honestly, I found it more effective just to hold it down and let it overheat. And then it'll reset. It'll cool itself back down. So that's fully repaired. You can, like I said, you can also repair um, vehicles. So I don't want to hop down there because I feel like they'd run me out, run me over, or I'd go down there and repair that guy's vehicle. Oh, that's down. And always remember to toss your things around, toss your little ammo refill things, because I, I toss them wherever, and I get XP just randomly all the time. Let's go ahead and check this to make sure okay, it's good. I'm not totally up to snuff on all the different icons and what they mean and everything so if I run up to something that you as a viewer know doesn't need to repair and I try to repair it just, uh, just, just cut me some slack <laughs> I'm trying I'm trying to learn I remember in my uh, other videos I was kind of I was having issues like uh, I still am having issues but I'm slowly getting the hang of the game I'm getting used to it but anyway that's pretty much the engineer in a nutshell it's a it's it's a really fun class and as the engineer, y your job is the most important, in my opinion, of all the different classes. Because you're the one that needs to go in there, especially when you're defending. Not so much when you're attacking, but when you're defending, you need to be on the ball with moving in between. Yeah, I gotta go down. There we go. You gotta be on the ball with moving in between damaged um, areas. You gotta make sure those generators stay repaired, and you gotta make sure that that all the different nodes are stay repaired and everything like that or you'll lose and you don't want to lose because it's difficult to take these things back once you've lost them as you can see right now we, we we're doing pretty good like we, we run 
we're running about half this map. So, we're doing alright. So there you go. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope, um, I hope I taught you a little bit about the engineer if you're curious. If uh, there's anything important that I missed, please let me know in the comments. So anyone else that's here that wants to uh, learn about the engineer class. Like if you're a seasoned veteran of Planet Side and you just happen to stumble across this video and, and you know decide to watch it and like it. If you have any hints or tips for me or for any of my other people that are other viewers that are watching that maybe want to learn how to play the engineer class a little bit more effective, um, please drop a comment. Let us know. Constructive criticism is always welcome. Helps me be a better YouTuber. And it uh, informs my viewers as well. So anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I've been Lanolin, and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, I will see you next time. Bye.